Hello everybody, it's the Minecraft Girl 5 here, and today I have something pretty cool. Um, it's a button on top of a uh, fence post, or I guess it's a cobblestone wall. Um, but you know, if you usually try to take a button and place it on top of here, it won't work. See, I'm right clicking, it doesn't work. So, um, this is pretty cool. Um, don't know why it's not taking the button from my inventory. Anyway, um, if I right click this, it will turn on the redstone lamp and it'll make a noise and then it turns off. You can see the animation is kind of weird. Um, it makes sense when I explain it. But uh, yeah, when you right click it, it turns on. And um, you don't just have to have redstone coming out of it. You can actually have it uh, do something like whatever you want. <laughs> so it doesn't have to be hooked up to redstone. I actually cheated a little bit. Um, I'll explain that in a second too. Uh, so let's start here. Let's see. All right. So it's setting the entity da data of the armor stand. So there's an armor stand here called BOF, and that stands for um, button on fence. If you're wondering, but um, it's setting its entity data, so um, its inventory to what it's holding to a button. So it's when you take the button out of its hand it puts it back in. So it always has a button, so that's what that does. And then here we have a simple fill clock, and we have redstone coming out of it, and we're testing for if the equipment is a stone button. So if it has a stone button in its hand, if it does, it sends out a signal, and this torch is off. But if it doesn't, so when you right-click it, you actually take the button out of its hand. Um, it plays sound random click, and it sets block redstone torch, and then it plays a click again and sets that to air. And what it's setting block is underneath here, there's actually a red sun torch. So if I actually right click this, you can see it there for a second. And that's what makes this light up. I kind of cheated a little there, but um, this doesn't have to be set block. You know, you could have it do like anything you want, like open a door over there or, you know, give yourself a key or an item, I don't know. It could be used in like an adventure map. And then we just have clear all stone button. Um, just so, uh, you know, you don't, if I take that out, you're actually going to have a button in your inventory. And the only problem with that, I guess, is if I pick up this button, it says I have it, but when I right click it, you can't place it down. So if you wanted to use buttons in your adventure map, probably wouldn't be the best thing to do. Unless you used wood buttons, and this one was a stone one. But uh, that's pretty much it for this video, and thanks for watching.